time, yeah, it's their celebration. No, I'm not gonna get in the way. Wild as it could be, I could feel the sweet sensations. Gonna come now, gonna do it with ease, yeah. Believe me when I say I've got a message from your brother. He told me that he was gonna get you up ahead. Don't turn around, cause looking back and get you nowhere. Get the boys together, we're heading for disaster. Kisses. She doesn't even know that he doesn't even care And if he doesn't score tonight, he's taking her to Denny's Before the last call, he'll be going down the hall Avoid his friends, avoid the laughs Avoid all the gossip he's heard in the past It all doesn't matter, it'll come down to this In the dead of the night, you'll be begging her for kisses That's what I said Here he comes again. Y'all shall do ya any time He could go for broke on a 1500 limit When she answered the call She remembered his voice He said, give me, give me something Yeah, the pain I cannot measure I'll show you satisfaction Yeah, I'll give it more than pleasure She was heading down the highway Taking all his calls on a cell phone In a Mercedes Benz Yeah That's what I said How's it, everybody? And welcome to The Daily Pigeon. My name's Andy Bumata. And I'm James Money. And you are the Hammer Jang Gang. And for those of you that are new to the podcast, if you want to join the Hammer Jang Gang, all you got to do is post something in the comment section. And you are in like Flint, Boom. like James just did for the week. He had 30 <laughs> seconds to spare, and he just sat down. A little traffic in Pearl City? Yeah, it was actually a two-car pileup, uh, or maybe more... Yeah. Um, at the bottom of H2 as it separates from H1. Oh, man. So uh, what did you do? Take an alternate route? or did No, you... it's just, I, luckily, like, you know, you always say, yeah. just leave early. Just leave early. Yeah. So I look at that. Made it. Yeah, I left at 2.15, so I had 45 wow. minutes to get here. And uh, Devin really liked that song. Yeah, that was um, that was Lono singing. Uh, That's what I said. I, I I was trying. I'm trying to find videos that I haven't played yet. You know, well, I have not played in a long time. Mm -hmm. I should say that. You know, but let's say how's it to some people here. Mad Statter in the house. How are you? Let me get us off the screen. Oops. Wait a minute. I gotta do it that way so that. <clears throat> yeah, I won't explain. 
How's it, Kevin Frazier? Aloha no. He liked that video also. And uh, Kulika, mahalo for being here. Devin, I really like this song. There you go. And we'll try to play it again. Namaste Zen in the Hale saying aloha to um, aloha nani Devin, Darlene, Andy, James, Mad Statter, Siho, Nikione, Amajang Gang, and the rest that here on Killing. No, wrong, wrong show. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, Polani, Aloha Friday, Ganger, and there's Miles coming in from Boston. How you, medium seven up, Aloha, in flight. Wi-Fi Ooh. might be too slow to enjoy, but I'll stay as long as I can. In flight, oh yeah, he's coming back from what, Massachusetts? Minneapolis. Min Minneapolis, that's where he was. Yeah, Devin. Well, we'll be on a plane uh, soon. Yes. In fact, uh, uh, Greg sent me, hey, there's a good uh, fare to Kona, you should grab it. 44 bucks. Yeah, did you grab it already? I, didn't I did it. not. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, hey, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> well, we, we'll do it after the show. <laughs> Hopefully, it's still there. Yeah. All right, there we go. Rick S. coming in from the Ninth Island. Poalani, Aloha, Miles. And there's Mad Satter saying, Aloha, K Crew, and Lurkers. We are ready to do the show now. We cannot do it without that. That's right. And M. Tiko Wam. And then he said, hey, which cell are you flying home with? <laughs> Hopefully his. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. And John Stanton. Haven't seen John in a while. Okay. Oh, Hana. Chemo day today. Ah, that's why. That's right. I forgot. Sorry about that, John. We'll be listening um, probably not participating. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Just every once in a while, give us a K. How's that? That's what we ask the lurkers to do. Yeah. Put a K so we know you're lurking and you're still here and we can acknowledge. <gasps> While I was in uh, Minas, uh, Minneapolis, I played an $88,000 cello and a $190,000 violin. Wow. Woo. A violin is more expensive than most cars. <laughs> yeah, and in some places, most houses. Eesh. That's amazing. Well, you know, the Stradivariuses are in the stratosphere. Yeah. I think that's where they got stratosphere. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure, but we'll see. Wow. How's it, Roger Sazaki? Aloha no. Mahalo for being here once again. And C. Honda is here, one of our moderationists. We have four. Aloha nani. Aware, C. Honda, and Devin. Mahalo. And there's our front row hottie. How are you, Felicia? Um, happy Aloha Friday. Gee. Yes, thank you. And uh, Michael says, yeah, burn, uh, Miles. I play a $100 guitar. Ooh. There we go. Big yeah. spender. Big spender. Well, you know, hey, people who have access to Walmart, mm. boss out the coin. <laughs> Almost play, uh, play themselves. Yeah, for that kind of money. Yeah, I wanted to wash my car, too. I would be afraid to drop it or even hold it, leave fingerprints. But you know what? Um, I, I saw a special on the, the Stradivarius violin, mm -hmm. and the people who really know said there is definitely a difference. Oh, yeah? And, it, and it's more about how the sound carries. You know, mm. like how you how you reach the back row with a, just a low note and such. You know, wow. it's just really amazing. Ooh, look at this! And I played an, a one hundred ninety thousand dollar violin with an eighty thousand dollar bow. Wow! And that's about. I would say the the wrapping was probably seventy five thousand at least. And please. the box that. Oh, wait, wrong kind of bow. Sorry, never mind. I was going to ask how expensive is the tape? The, <laughs> you don't use tape on that. <laughs> we use wood glue. You can put a down payment on a, a penthouse in Kahala. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I'm in the past, Gangi. Stream is slow. No, you're not in the past. Yeah. I'm in um, 1969, basically. So <laughs> you're doing fine, Miles. Don't worry about it. Hopefully you can hear us. Okay. So on today's show, we're going to be talking. Uh, talking about how the parking meters in Hawaii are just too old mm. and they're losing big money. Also, uh, yesterday we played that uh, theme park. Mm -hmm. um, it was 
when we came back after technical difficulties, mm -hmm. we didn't play it. So we're going to play that again because cool. people were going, hey, I tried to go back and watch it on the restream, but That's guess right. what? It, it wasn't there. So we're going to play that again. This is a special needs theme park. Mm -hmm. Not a Hawaii story, but interesting nonetheless. Right? And then uh, Joe Moore will be talking about how lock boxes, you know, when you put your key in a lock box on your car or mm -hmm. your... They don't work. No. Don't do it. That's what it, that's what Joe says, right? And then a senior spelling bee. Oh. Yeah, I know. This is very interesting. I'm not going <laughs> to blow the punchline. Senior spelling. And you know me. Yeah. I'm all about spelling. Right? Auto carrots. Right. And then uh, we're going to take a look at uh, the devastation the uh, typhoon did Ooh. in Guam. A little bit of it. And then talk about how we can ready ourselves yes. in the event. It's the about season. Typhoon. Yeah. And then you're going to love this one. I hope we can get to it. Last one is about laughter yoga. Mm. Now... <clears throat> The only, the only time I ever laughed at yoga is during your Long's Drugs commercial, <laughs> you doing yoga, but this is an actual type of yoga. Wow. I know. So we'll, we'll get to that. But uh, let's see. Most of the time you can hear the quality of a fine instrument. Mm. Oh, it, 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 as long as it's in the hands of someone who knows how to play True. it. <laughs> True. I put a stratosphere in my hand. They'd be like, hey, turn that thing off, would you? I would hold it I would hold it this way and be like, my dog has fleas. Like, no, <laughs> stop it. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> You'd hold it this way and go, okay, here's my Ian Pungi uh, <laughs> impersonation. Take the monster is away. <laughs> <laughs> I have all my keys in our wood boat that hang on the wall. Uh -huh. What is that? Oh, oh, the keys. I was thinking keys. Oh, lockbox. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's much more. That's I, much safer. I was thinking notes. Yeah. I, or, or pitch or whatever. The our, music. Our mind is not where it should be. Yeah. Well, we are not the, the dream snatcher. <laughs> <laughs> Maestro124, hey. how are you? Aloha, no, thanks for being here. And there's James Ara Araki. With the big K. The big K right there. Oh, and you made Ellen laugh. <laughs> well, she caught it. <laughs> Does she just, no, she snatched oh, she it. she snatched it. She snatched it. Okay, yeah. let's take a look at this first one here. And uh, again, parking lots, I mean, parking lots, parking meters in Hawaii, too old. The cost of running the city's parking meter program has led to a multi-million dollar shortfall. Wow. So the city wants to look into raising <laughs> rates for street parking while getting rid of coin-operated meters to lower its own costs. Christy Tomashiro is digging deeper into the shortfall and how it affects you in tonight's I-Team report. I-Team. What, what's going on? <gasps> I know. They I see them. I spark them. And then she's eye quarters because I like park. <laughs> Near park shopping areas and everywhere in between, there are 4,000 on street parking meters stretched across Oahu. Your money goes in, but the city isn't seeing a return in revenue. According to the Department of Transportation <laughs> of Services, course. the current parking meter program is seeing a nearly $5 million annual net loss. Those funds are subsidized by real property taxes. We want to, at some Whoa. point, be able to help make this so that the taxpayers are not being the, the ones responsible to foot the bill. That's so good to hear because you know that if they turn that into a five million dollar profit, they would lower the property taxes. That's, yeah, that sounds. I mean, I just heard it. Sounds right. <laughs> According to the city Department of Transportation Services, there are multiple reasons for the multi-million dollar shortfall. So I'm asking the tough questions. What is it doing to improve the system? Maintaining a, an aging system like that uh, isn't an efficient way to do business. DTS says one issue is coin-only meters. There are about 2,000 of them. So Whoa. coins are very expensive to collect. Staff have to go out and collect at each meter count them, and then uh, make sure to post those type of revenue. Another issue is outdated parking rates that DTS says have not been increased in several years, along uh -oh. with a lack of uh -oh. parking enforcement. According to DTS, data shows near Ala Moana Center and Keamoku, 
There are many people parking, but only a few are paying. Now a $4 million project is underway to upgrade all meters to help fix that. With the new meters, they'll have sensors that are looking 24-7, 365. <laughs> so we'll be able to see in real time, both us and the customers will be able to see in real time what spaces are occupied versus compared to uh, who's actually paying. Mm. Uh, and so that's something that help with targeted enforcement. Digging deeper, I found that despite the costly operations of collecting coins, DTS is required to continue to accept them. But the department wants to go coinless in the future. Coinless. I don't carry much coins in my car, and a lot of times I feel the convenience on my end is credit cards or debit cards. And we want to make sure to be sensitive to the cost. Uh, this is all. Okay, you see these stickers here? Yeah. You got to be careful that it's the actual sticker. Did you hear about that oh. thing? There was a guy putting stickers on these, and when you shot the barcode, it takes you to somewhere else, and it yeah. says, you know, give me your banking information or something. Yeah, Just yeah. scabby buggers. Well, uh, you know, being paid for by the citizens, and so if we can do it in a more efficient way, we want to make sure we can do that. DTS says the upgrades to all meters will be done by the end of the year. Chrissy Tom Shiro, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Wow. Mm. I don't know. I, I, I never go anywhere that you have to park, you know, so, because <clears throat> where we go, it, you know, you don't pay, you know, $1.50 a yeah. half an hour. You pay $20 yes. to the valet. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Look, Michi Mama says, downtown, I had to get my stool out to see the screen when I used my credit card. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Me, um... I just had to bend down and look. <laughs> you know, but the thing is, Michi Mama is like, you, you carry one stool. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a friend who had a real high truck like that and, and had a stool on a, on a rope. So he opened the car, take the stool, put it down, stand on the stool, get in the truck, and then use the rope to pull the stool. I said, oh, but, but hey, you, you chopped macho ass. Yeah, I never had that problem. Look, in, uh, Mad Statter says, in Seattle, the meters take debit cards and print out a sticker with the time expiration. Cool thing about it is that the with the sticker is that if you still have time left, you can park somewhere else until the time is up. Oh. Oh. Some, some here, they have the parking lots have them, yeah. but not the, the curb meter. So yeah. the parking lots had where you, you take that print or printed out receipt and put it in your car. Yeah. And then when I come out, I'll see how much time I have left and give it to somebody give who's just somebody parking. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, that parking lot by, uh, Ala, Mo by um, Ala Moana, by Ili Kai, mm -hmm. you know, in the back by the harbor. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's like that. It's like that, yeah. yeah. Michi Mama, short people problems. <laughs> oh, the mayor of Harrisburg jacked up the price of parking so high, people stopped parking in town. I wonder if that was by design. Yeah. You know? Less uh, traffic, more driving space. You, you know, I, it, it's funny, like, when the, when the gas prices went to five bucks, you notice how many, how, how few, yeah. fewer cars there were on the yep. road? That might, you know, and people are going... Hey, I got an idea. <laughs> Keep because, it at five. Yeah, you you take away the people who are just wandering or yeah. just like, ah, I'll go over there. I don't have I, I got some time to kill. Right. You make sure I'm I got a reason to go. I have right. to go. Spend five dollars. Well, it's like me on the one wheel. You know, if I have to go anywhere in Mililani, I jump on that. Mm -hmm. I don't use any gas. So, you know, I'm saving gas money by buying a two thousand dollar board. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh yeah, my my former our former mayor was pretty dim, but you know what? You never know. Maybe you had something going yeah. on you didn't know about. Yeah. Oh, she wanted she wanted money. Yeah, wow. Everybody, every city. Look at this: five million dollars shortfall every yeah. year. They gotta go uh, hire somebody to do a cool hand Luke and walk around with. Did you, do you remember that movie? Hmm. A, a Paul Newman played this character and he had a pipe cutter. He was all drunk and he just went down. He was cutting the, 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 the parking meters and dropping them on the ground. That's what he went to. Um, 
Jail for in the movie. Okay. Oh, where? There we go. Hey, thank you. I think that's thank you. Huh? Oh, Devin said uh, hello to him. Or oh, welcome. there we go. Devin up here. Hey, welcome in. Yep. Yes, Maestro 24. Uh, a one, two, four. We've seen Maestro before. We played him a video yep. a while back. Yep. Yeah. Why and I? Why and I? That's the brother right there. Okay. Jess Scuzzi. Oh, what is that? Some kind of avatar that I don't recognize. Too small. Photo look, maybe? No. I don't know. All right. Okay. <clears throat> now let's play the special needs one again. Gotta dry up the face because I hear that it's a uh, tearjerker. Oh uh, yeah, it is. Uh, especially, well, you 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 had a brother who was. Uh, yeah, yeah. Special or needs. have a brother. I had a brother. Oh, he, oh, he passed. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. Sorry. That's why it's gonna maybe hurt a little uh, more. Uh, yeah. Anybody who has anyone in that, but and and um, I'll let them tell the story. Yeah. Here we go. Morgan Hartman was born with physical and cognitive disabilities. For years, though, she lacked a diagnosis. One thing she did have was a happy spirit. Oh, Her dad, so Gordon happy. Hartman, never wanted to see that spirit dulled. But unfortunately, at times it was. Uh, in 2006, we were on a family vacation where I uh, watched Morgan not be able to participate um, in a pool activity with some three other children and it was simply because she was not able to be verbal. It almost puts a lump in your throat because it, it gives you a very sad feeling that all Morgan wanted to do was to participate. Uh, she just wanted to play. After seeing his daughter excluded, Hartman started on a quest to create a space where no one felt left <laughs> out. His idea? An inclusive theme park. He had experience as a builder and enlisted help from other experts to turn his dream into Morgan's Wonderland. Hartman says the San Antonio theme park isn't just for people with disabilities, it's for everyone. But he made sure every single experience and ride is what he calls ultra accessible. The park is believed to be the only one like it in the world. And it has expanded to include a sports center and a camp with an outdoor adventure box. park. And that's the beauty of this place, is that it's an opportunity for everyone to truly enjoy um, uh, playing together, but also no matter what their condition may be, that's not a question anymore. Between all of wow. Morgan's ventures, there's a Ferris wheel, zip lining, and even a water park. And for people who can't get their electric wheelchairs wet, don't worry, Hartman and his team thought of that. We have a wheelchair valet. You go from your wheelchair to a wheelchair that's been specially built to the size that you need. And if wow. you're in a, a battery operated wheelchair, we actually give you a pneumatic wheelchair which works off compressed air, works underwater. Hartman has seen firsthand how an accessible theme climb. park can change lives through joy. Whoa, whoa, wait, now, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where the chair goes on that one. Yeah, I just, <laughs> just get, Johnny, come down, bro. <laughs> but I can do it. But look, doesn't that look a little dangerous? I uh, mean, is that just me? Uh, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> He's probably tied and we don't see it. <laughs> I met a, a, a couple from Mexico City and they had never had a chance to, because of their special need, ever a chance to play in water together. They heard wow. about it, they came here, they cried with me and talked to me about how this was the most wonderful opportunity they had ever had. Morgan's Wonderland has welcomed visitors from dozens of countries and all 50 states and those with disabilities enter for free. It's the small things that make the big difference, uh, having fun. And, you know, for too long, I think, uh, individuals have had to watch and say, I wish I could. Here at Morgan's Wonderland and all the different Morgan's venues, uh, you don't watch, you participate. At wow. nearly 29 years old, Morgan was finally diagnosed with tatton brown Rayum syndrome, a rare genetic disease. A lifelong question answered. That same happy spirit still there and shared with millions of other people who visit the theme park she inspired. Wow, oh, how's that? And you know, you, you nailed it. She's just always happy. Yeah, she looked, just walking, she seems so excited and animated. Yeah, and, that's, you man. know, I, I wrote a, uh, you know, a thing one time, of, you know, just as an idea for a movie mm -hmm. and it never went too far, but it was about, uh, could someone... Um, survive in this world when they trusted everybody and took everyone for their word. Mm. How long would that person last? You mm. know, and that that describes a lot of the special needs people. 
you know that's why I look you know when when miles here a medium <clears throat> seven up said so cool he works with special yeah. needs kids teaches them music and knows firsthand you know just how cool that is mm. oh man okay let's see my french brother my host family brother from a year in france has downs and uh, he is the purest love yeah. there you go that is amazing yes it is Alan. Yeah, that's the thing with my brother. Um, it was unconditional love and super supportive. You know, it's like it, it, the yeah. trust. They have so much trust in the people around them. Everybody. Yeah, yeah. that is. Just, <clears throat> it's great that there are chairs that allow the whole experience yeah. for each individual. Yeah, because you know, <clears throat> people like like you said, go to the theme parks and oh, you know, I can't yeah participate yeah. you wait over here and they're the kids are gonna go play and everybody oh so sad yeah. hey kenny roberts good afternoon andy james and the gang hey because you guys is hamajan gang i sent a flyer for your for your upcoming show hey. to kona to my daughter samantha i'm hoping oh, she makes it to the show please uh, tell her to come up and say hi yeah. okay kenny if she sh if she does show up right and uh you know because you are regular here, bro. I'll get her 3% off the tax. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Big time, yo. Oh, brother. Hey. But, you know, don't spread the word. Because <laughs> we are, we're on a budget. Yeah. A special for one person <laughs> and sold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Um, um, Andy, that's called Williams Syndrome. They have an inherent trust to everyone. Yes. Wow. Look, lost my sister that had Down syndrome past um, the uh, early month this year. Oh, ah, sorry, sorry for your loss, uh, Carol. Oh, okay, let's see. We'll do. Eh, sounds good. Yeah, I know. And you know, tell her just check out the Mercedes dealer because with that kind of discount, ooh, ooh, big she, time, she can get options. Yeah. I think. Um, they were asking, where is this? I think it's in San Antonio, Texas. I think it was in San Antonio. Yeah, yeah but uh, you can do a search. It's Morgan's yeah. theme park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. There we go. Yes, the unconditional love and trust is amazing. Yeah. And a huge responsibility for the receiver. Yes. Yeah. Because I had a, you know, and, and you know, if, if you have older parents and my friend's mom was, you know, going through some dementia, you know, mm -hmm. firsthand yeah. about that. And she had stickers all over the phone. Right, because she still had a landline. It says, "Don't give out information. Don't trust everybody." She had to like, it was like, wow, it was like Memento, you know that movie where he oh, tattooed great all movie. the. Yeah, yeah, wow, yeah. amazing. Yeah, okay. some more style though. It was us different. Mom, don't touch that. Sit down. <laughs> she said, oh, Sit down. You know you're not allowed for it. It's <laughs> on our phone. Get out of the kitchen. I <laughs> love you, mom. That's that's me all day. <laughs> Get out of the kitchen unless you're going cool. Oh, no, don't touch the... Don't touch the we, stove. Oh, yeah. We shut the power off in the kitchen. Wow. Just to make sure. Yeah. Okay, hey, uh, Michael Anthony Smith, I believe they said it was San Antonio, yeah. Texas. Yeah. Morgan's theme park. Yeah. I think that's yeah. what it was called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not sure. Okay. So now uh, we're going to take a look at why you should not use lock boxes now i'm sure the people who make lock boxes are going to be very happy about joe moore <laughs> suggesting that you do not use them and in some cases maybe they are but check this out don't put your car keys in a lock box if you plan to park at honolulu's airport uh, that was pretty straightforward yeah okay <laughs> thank you thank, thank you, you joe okay that's our report <laughs> That's the message from the transportation officials and a woman whose SUV was stolen there last night. Wow. Bryce Moore reports. Oh. Ota Bia Porter dropped off her red Chevy at the airport around 3 p.m. yesterday to be picked up by her sister that evening. Porter was headed to American Samoa, and her sister was flying here from the mainland. So we figured it's only a couple of hours, right? So I'm there at 3 p.m. and her, she's arriving there about 6, 7, 7 p.m. Collected her bags, went to check on where we said, you know, I took the picture of it and I said, this is it. And she said, I, it's not there. 
According to the Public <laughs> Safety Department, a vehicle neck. theft occurred at 6 p.m., making it the sixth vehicle theft case at the airport this year. The reporter tells me she left her parking ticket in the car. And now that's not a good idea. Yeah. Put the parking. Some people, they just snag the, because they've been there a month. Yeah. They go in, hey, that guy, boom, right? Always here, hide things. Hide things. Yeah. Look at, or put it in the lockbox. Yeah. But this is what we're talking about. Yeah. Locked the key in an external lockbox, something the transportation department recommends against. And those lock boxes aren't as durable as you may think. Uh, a simple hammer can take them apart pretty quickly. If there is a key in there and a hammer to it, then you've got the key, you've got access to that car. Those working in security say businesses with lock boxes have recently seen wow. an uptick in burglaries as well. It's an easy way into a business. And if a business doesn't have an alarm, they don't have to break and enter. They can use the actual key to get into the shop and, and pretty much steal at will. Officials say keeping your parking ticket on you while traveling is also a big deterrent for thieves. Look at that. There's no ID check at the gate. So if the ticket is in the car and it happens to get stolen, um, if the person has the ticket, then it's just they just have to literally pay the parking fee to get out. Now, Porter tells me all of this has been a learning experience and that going forward, she'll handle her business at the airport a bit different. Does Bryce look like he wears his dad's ties? <laughs> <laughs> his dad's a little more colorful. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, but it's like, you know, hey, come on, big, or, or maybe he's just a thin guy. Oh, yeah, he he does look lean. Be vigilant and be alert, and, you know, don't take these risks if it is unnecessary. Yeah, I, I'm probably not going to do this ever again, you know. <laughs> I will leave my car at home and tell my sister you can find your way, you know. Yeah, uh -huh. According to the Public Safety Department, a second-degree theft case has been opened, and the investigation is ongoing. Bryce Moore, KHON 2 News. No, that's not Howdy Doody, that's Bryce Moore, <laughs> Joe's son, who gets all the good assignments. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But, you know, you think about that, what, what they should have, why don't they have two keys, right? And he, she mailed the key to her sister, so she actually, well, maybe that's too much. I think the other thing, like, so... When I stayed overnight in Kona, yeah. I parked. Yeah. There's only one night. But when I went to Wyoming, I Ubered. You know, just Uber to the airport, Uber back. You don't have to go into the... the How much the was it to Pearl City from the... Um... Uh, it usually depends on the time. It's yeah. like between $20, $25. That's, that, the the, the uh, parking is 18 a day. No, 22 22 now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Who bump up the security, the kind parking lot, police lot at? Yeah, but how, how would they know? Yeah. You know, the guy's looking around, looking around. He goes in there with a bolt cutter, yeah. bam, grabs that thing, smash him on the ground. He's yeah. in. You know, what, what? what is it? It takes 30 seconds to steal most cars, the, pr the pros yeah. that know how to yeah. do it. Yeah. I saw that movie. You seen him? Nick, Nicholas Cage. Oh, <laughs> 60 seconds. Gone is uh, 60 seconds and gone or gone in since. Gone 60, in 60 seconds. Boom. Thank yeah, you yeah. so much. And I, I mean, it could be tough because maybe they are they live up on the North Shore or something, but yeah. come on. Yeah, somebody can pick you up. Hey, you can arrange, you know. I guess just the learning lesson. Make arrangements. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know. Like she said, I won't be doing that again. Yeah, they can yeah. find their own way to yeah. <laughs> to the house. So <clears throat> that means uh, when we when we go Kona, what carpool, bro? Yeah, I don't know. I might Uber. <laughs> you might Uber. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, speaking of Kona, let me see if I can do this without uh, bringing up too much stuff that we don't like seeing. <laughs> okay, here we. Did on July first, we will be at the Kona Elks Lounge. Yes, that's my lodge. 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 Yeah. Oh, lounge. Oh, lodge. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You know what the difference between lounge and lodge? Spelling? No. Three bucks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you gonna save money. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, James and I will be there doing stand-up comedy, um, and and that's one show only, 7 p.m. Doors yep. uh, open at uh, six. The show is at seven. Go to andybumatai.com for tickets. Yes. Right? And then um, after that show, then we will be going to. Um, Renton, Washington. Yeah, the reason I paused there is because Nani scolded me. She says, you know, Rhodes show is one word. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> real public school. She didn't catch them. Road show. Okay, yeah. So anyway, so there's the lineup there, and we have Mad Statter. Gee. We're happy to announce will be our MC and special guest Augie Tolba All right. will be joining us. And on this uh, one, we're doing two shows. Yes. Six thirty and nine. Yeah. Okay, because that theater I think seats three hundred. Mm -hmm. Perfect for stand-up comedy. Yes. So uh, and th and these tickets will be available come June third. Yeah. Okay. I seen pictures of the theater. You did. It looks like it seats that much, but it looks like everybody's close. Very close. Well, perfect. It's yeah. Perfect so I, for stand-up. I stand -up. love it. I love it. Perfect for stand-up. Okay. So now, uh, after lockboxes, special needs theme park, and parking meters that are too mm -hmm. old. We're going to have a bit of a relief, senior spelling bee. Oh. Now, what comes to your mind when you hear those three words, senior spelling bee? Um, old bees that spell. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went, <clears throat> so what about the juniors and the sophomores? They cannot participate. <laughs> yes, but you are correct, right? In fact, the, I could participate in this if I could mm. <clears throat> spell, mm. Mm. <laughs> I think it requires that. But anyway, <laughs> let's check it out. Seniors, dust off your spelling skills. The second annual Kiwanis Spelling Bee is slated for this summer. Those 60 and older are invited to take part in this fun competition. The purpose of this event... 60 and over. I qualify. Run oh. the comps. Hey, look at this. Run the comps. Hey, mahalo for the uh, super chat there. Uh, I, guess, I, I guess that's on... Um, YouTube. YouTube, yep. on the YouTube side. Super chat. Thank you, Run the Comps. See, every time you run Senior Spelling Bee, um, items. People is to encourage older yeah. residents to stay mentally sharp look at this. by learning and practicing the use of spelling of words and to help strengthen memory. Okay, I, I st spoke all over that, but it's to keep their mind sharp mm -hmm. and uh, work on their memory. Like, like uh, you, I, I didn't put the um, sound on this one, but it's, okay, name two of your grandkids. And never mind <laughs> mix up the name with the dog. <laughs> well, you cannot ask a local lady because you can go, oh, boy, B-O-Y. <laughs> and, <laughs> and honey, girl, G-R-I-L, uh, uh, grill. There will be multiple preliminary events held across the state. The first, second, and third place winners for each preliminary contest will move on to the finals. The that. grand prize winner... Look at, the, look at the walker in there. You see it? <laughs> it's not something you see too often at a spelling bee. And they probably get the... What is that? The thing? Clear... <laughs> Stay in the back Def wall. Defibrillator. Yeah, defibrillator. <laughs> or whatever it's called. Oh, that's too funny. Hey, mahalo. Bobby Tsunami has gifted subs to viewers. Oh, thank you, Bobby Tsunami, for gifting subs. And then and that's on uh I think that's on the Twitch, Twitch. side. That's Twitch. Because we are on Twitch and YouTube. There we go. Because we're in Facebook jail. Yeah. Back to the story. We'll receive a trip for two anywhere Alaska Airlines flies. <gasps> oh. For more information, head to our website. You know how to spell it. K <laughs> <laughs> good one. Nice. Usually it's not too good when they go yeah, for the humor, but yeah. that nailed it. She's and we, I'm leaving this up here for a little while in case, uh, you know, somebody wants to participate. Yeah. I, I know how to, like, to beat them, the, 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 the seniors, the, like maybe like the, the last few words to... Yeah really stumped them, wow. you ask him, how do you spell Snapchat? H-O-N-2 dot com. <laughs> how do you spell Instagram? And be like, oh, what is that? <laughs> how do you spell L-O-L? <laughs> how do you spell B-R-B? <laughs> okay, uh, I'll give you a word and you give me a word. And we'll really? see if we can spell it. Okay. okay, give me a word to spell. Defibrillator. <laughs> I, I quit. <laughs> You win. <laughs> Defibular. D, D E F F I B B U L A T O R. Oh, I think it's B R I. Defibrillator. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. my turn then. Right. Um, pseudo ultramicroscopic cava cava coniosis. 
Um, gotta be in English. <laughs> oh, there you look. Yeah, look, Devin. Oh, thank you. Defibrillator. Oh, yeah. that, that, that's like when I was in school. Andy, never, never mind. Look at Devin's paper. <laughs> oh, what? What? Oh, shocker. Yeah, I know. <laughs> How do you spell defibrillator? Shocker. S H O C K E R. Clear. <laughs> really? C L E A R. <laughs> Oh, I thought Andrew was going to spell clear. I just did. <laughs> you, we, same wavelength. We have the Hammer Jane comedy team there. That was uh, uh, um, I thought years ago. I, he I heard something. Oh, mahalo to anonymous viewer who is gifted to Ellen. Oh, Ellen, you win score. She win, uh, that was the sub snatcher because she has the, you know. Actually, they probably just randomly threw it out, but her catcher. Oh, that's it. what happened. Wow. Ooh, sorry I can't stay until the end of the podcast. I have a 4.30 to 6.30 shift at Nalu's South Shore Grill. Oh, Jeez. man. Anybody on Maui, you got to check out. Break a lane. Hey, that's right. And um, he said his daughter is getting married. The one that's going to come to the show. His daugh yeah. daughter is getting married Small in June. Small kind of uh, ceremony. He yeah. Said. That's great. But, um, yeah, at Nalu's, uh, him and um, um, uh, Ortez, um, I'm locking up. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, I spelled it wrong, but I know the word you were going for. Oh, thank you. Who the box with the restart button? <laughs> really, we call that human jumper cable. Yeah. The juicer. The juicer. Kenny, <laughs> <laughs> ah, see you in July. Yes, um, uh, uh, Eluakani and um, ah, well, Miles coming down. Yeah. The Huh? Miles hey, will be coming down. That's yes, right, yeah? he'll be here. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, yeah, Kenny. Oh, Kavika, thank you. Oh, oh man, Kavika. I don't like to say David. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's like your friend, Pakilika. You don't only want to call him Patrick. <laughs> well, I grew up calling him Patrick. I mean, well, he was growing up as because I met, I known him since he was eight. And mm -hmm. I call him Patrick suddenly, Palika. <laughs> I know. Okay. Um, let's see, what, what kind of time we got here? Uh, you know what? We're almost all the way through our uh, little things mm -hmm. here. But you know what? I would like to play a music video, take ah. a music video break. And you know, all, a, a lot of times we're, we're playing music videos for other people, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I'd like to play one that I like. Oh, hey, okay? why not? And, and, the, and what I, I was just going through, you know, videos that we should play. And this one reminded me of... Um, when we were doing a lot of videos, mm -hmm. and I did it because I would always dedicate it to the Hemajang gang. Ah. Because I said, you know, we, we kind of met in the old fashioned way, way back when, when we were going, hey, who's on? I remember one time we were like, hey, we got 11 people. <laughs> Woo! And we were celebrating. So, anyway, so this goes out to the Hemajang gang or to anyone who met someone in the old fashioned way. Jagged metronome of typewriter keys A simple thought brings you to me And I'm thankful every day I'm so glad I found you the old-fashioned way Text no time to call to slow down. Oh, I pray. I'm so glad I found you the old fashioned way.
ticket metronome of typewriter keys Another page done My soul at ease And I'm thankful every day I'm so glad I found you The old-fashioned way Mahalo C Honda for the 300 biddies on the Twitch side. Thanks, Al. Hey, we got a visit from Kinako down here. Oh, do we? Let's yeah. let, let's go to uh, let's see if that camera works. Wait a minute, where where the heck is it now? Oh, it would be here. Kinako Cam. Kinako, there. hi. Oh, look at that. Yeah. The, the full commitment scratch. Yeah. Does she have her little uh, squirrels over there? Hi. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, for the new people, let, let's cycle through the cameras. First of all, we have the black and white camera that I go to when I want to look like an aging Hawaiian man. <laughs> 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 and then let's see if Mo'o cam works. Oh, no, it's not working. Oh, it's back. There we go. Ayo. Hey. Yeah, up there, that's our Mo'o cam. We, we put a little camera on a, on a gecko. Yeah. And, sits right up there so that's what the cool. best thing is that it's, it just stays there it doesn't move when doesn't it knows move. when we're on it yeah and then you know it's non-union too so Shh. <laughs> we're on strike <laughs> you never hear about that sag strike that's why we got to use non-union work <laughs> scab scab A scab gecko A scab geckos A i know gecko. So, oh no Oh, scab and skibby. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> click, click. Yes, that's how it goes right there. Who? I didn't even know you guys were in the same room. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people are surprised to uh, yeah. see that, you know. Thank you. Not we cool. are. <laughs> what are you, you know, I guess they think you're in Pearl City or something. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if we could do it like that, you know, save mm. you some gas money. Well, I guess it would be the, the chemistry, though. Yeah. Like, oh no! You go. You what? You, well, yeah, yeah. It, uh, it, yeah. It would be tough, right? Plus, I wouldn't have Kinako. You know, oh, be at home. There we go. No Kinako. Yes. Namaste Zen says great vibe here. Uh, okay. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Speaking of vibes, oh man, the um, the island of Guam was vi reverberating recently. <laughs> Vibrating. <laughs> I know. So, um, you know, and all the surfers, oh, I wonder what south swell going to hit. But anyway, let's take a look at uh, a Guam who, um, man, they took a hit here. Residents on Guam are picking up the pieces tonight after Super wow. Typhoon Mawar lashed the island with winds and rains, tearing down trees, walls, and power lines. Whoa! The storm briefly made landfall as a Category 4 storm with winds upwards of 140 wow. miles per hour. The Guam Power Oof. Authority says 98% of the island is without power tonight, making 98. communication difficult. It's a reality we haven't had to deal with on Oahu any time recently, but the saying goes that only takes one storm. Hmm. And with hurricane season approaching, Sam Spangler finds out how you can best prepare for the worst in a story okay, that's Okay, now we're going to... Now we transit transition into what we can do here in on Oahu, I guess, throughout the island to mm -hmm. prepare. And it's more than just by toilet paper. Yeah, way more. <laughs> or gas. With a population of nearly one million people, Oahu and its infrastructure are vulnerable to hurricane impacts. Whoa! We continue to have... First thing, cut your hair really short. <laughs> and stay, make sure you can see the logo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at this man. Look, I mean, this guy, he looks serious. Eh? Yeah. Wow. I feel bad. Major vulnerabilities in, in our housing stock <laughs> because of the fact that we've been fortunate enough to not get hit with too many hurricanes, right? So, um, our analysis done for our hydro mitigation plan in 2020 and 2021 shows that about 64%. And make sure you finish your house. No leave them a lot at. <laughs> Put window. 
Way better. One of the homes on Oahu are deficient in terms of hurricane resistance. That includes single wall homes and those in a flood zone. Hurricane shelters are one wow. option for people who need a place to go on Oahu. There are currently 38 designed shelters, mostly schools that weren't designed to withstand hurricane force winds. With standing room only, there would be space for about 100,000 evacuees before a storm hits. That's a really scary thought, you know, and that translates to about 125,000 uh, single family homes on Oahu. Did you hear what they said? They said in the shelters that are now, mm -hmm. there's there's room for about 100,000 standing room only. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah. So you came in, ah, uh, here's 50 bucks. You can put me in the front. <laughs> Not only that, he's standing there and you're like, well, getting sleepy. Just yeah. lean on the guy next to yeah. you, you know. <laughs> hey, no lay down, standing room only. <laughs> yeah, like penguins. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That are potentially vulnerable against the hurricane. One way to avoid becoming part of that 64% is hardening your home. And that includes boarding up windows and doors as a storm approaches and installing hurricane clips and it affects you, the vocal quality this is not broadcast quality here right not at all if your home was built after 1988 on oahu or after 1990 on maui and Kauai, and after 1994 on hawaii island you already have these installed most likely but if not now's a good time to get them nailed in we encourage you to reach out your insurer, uh, special, you know, the insurer with your hurricane coverage, and ask them, is there any incentive? Right now, I don't have hurricane clips. It, you know, if I install these while well, I see a reduction in premiums, it, it varies from insurer to insurer. Wow. Uh, but m many of them do have that. Uh, Mahalo, Terry in Scotland for raining with a party of six. Jeez. Thanks, Sam. That's a Twitch thing. He, um, the people from his show, he said, hey, let's go visit uh, James and Andy, and boom, here he is. A mortgage, you likely have hurricane insurance, but that won't cover everything that happens in a hurricane. You might house. also need flood insurance. They needed those clips. A lot of times during a hurricane, uh, one of the uh, look, my my my, my the 2006 taxes floating down the road. The largest they causes that of damage clip. is through flooding, and that's not covered by your hurricane insurance. Hur How's that? Flooding is not normally covered by hurricane. It's only for wind. Wow. Oh, you got to look into that. Hurricane insurance only covers wind damage. For more tips on hurricane insurance and preparations, head over to kh12.com. And don't name your business anything to do with killer. Yeah. <laughs> Sam I hope Spengler, they get those KH12 clips. News, working for Hawaii. Nailed down the kids. Welcome, <laughs> Raiders. Thank you, G Gumba, for welcoming the Raiders. Terry in Scotland, there he is. Woo. Check it out. You give the kids what? like uh, weights. Here, hold on to these 45-pound uh, plates. <laughs> Stay right here. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a good idea. Put plates on the kid. Me, I just use duct tape. <laughs> He said, if, if the wind stop and the water start coming, let go of the weight. <laughs> 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 let go of the weight. Oh, you like the Mara. Let go of the weight. Oh, pull, pull boy out and go get the juicer. He went mocking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, <laughs> um, who was it here who was saying, yeah, it's, it's really no laughing matter here, Roger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, says, yeah, disaster is serious business. Oh, man. You know. Yeah. I remember doing going to um, going to uh, Kauai during hurricane after hurricane in Niki. Oh, they, help, they got hit to help raise money for them, right? So <clears throat> the guy goes, oh, "I don't know how you're gonna make jokes about the hurricane." So here was the joke I did. Challenge you know, accepted. Yeah, you you will appreciate. Oh, here, let me go here. Uh, the the uh, the joke was, I said, you know, people in Hawaii a lot of times they feel bad because they're renting, right? Until one hurricane hit. Yeah. And then it's like, yeah, I was only renting. <laughs> and then the landlord calls, hey, how's my house? Oh, bro, your house is fine. Yeah. The address is different. <laughs> <laughs> and nice, the new roof, sunroof. Oh, yeah, we get sunroof. <laughs> oh, God, oh, fun. I remember I was telling you it was hot. Now, open air, everything open cool, air. bro. Yeah, yeah. When you go put one blue top, because yeah. I, I like watch the game. Might huh. need sunblock. But. Ooh, that's Holly Eva Killer Tacos. I mean, yes, Holly Eva. Mm. Uh, Killer Tacos is in Holly Eva. Have you eaten there, Miles? 
Oh, okay. Well, look, Arlo. Thank you. <laughs> Hurricane or earthquake? Earthquake. I had an earthquake joke too, oh. but I I can't do it uh, on this family friendly show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just we're already in Facebook jail. I don't want to be in YouTube jail. Yeah. Every time I post one of these, I get that notice that they have to. Um, that it may not be acceptable for all advertisers. Oh. And then I have to say, please, you know, do a manual check. And then I get, good news, it is. So I'm like, uh, mess that up. Look what she gave me. Oh, did she bring the, uh, oh, you know what that means, right? I mean, you got to. She wants me to throw it. Oh, yeah, she... Look. No, no. Uh, no, you know, a lot, a lot of times she wants to hold it and, you, you know, you jerk that, it around in that, her mouth. That was just Look, there, yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ah, just don't get your finger in the mouth. Uh, it's okay, she don't bite that hard. Yeah, she does. <laughs> Actually, she does not. Uh, okay. So this is me and Kinako, folks. <laughs> okay, in this tug of war, who would you put your oh. money on, folks? I already... <laughs> Look, she already she heard that. I quit. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. She did the give and then pull. Oh. Well, she gave, then I lighten up, and she yank them out of my hand. Yeah. Side job. This is my multitasking. I know, yeah. but you know the play-by-play -play is so interesting. <laughs> we got we we should put a little camera down there. You know what I mean? It's just we could do that. She brought it over, and she was looking at me, so I had to grab it, and then she started to. tugging it. Yeah, you got the fake out. Yeah, P Dragon. She did. She did the made you look. Ah, I rub my neck. Oh, I know. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, we, we're at the top of the hour here, and we have one more. Now, here we go. And uh, you thought I was joking about this. Laughter yoga. And no, it's not about your uh, Long's Drugstore commercial. <laughs> How many people saw uh, James in that uh, Long's Drugstore commercial, him buying yoga mats and deciding to do yoga? <laughs> You can probably show it on here because I have it on my YouTube. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you, you should... have to clunkinize it. I guess. Yeah. Well, bring it in one day and we'll we'll, okay. we'll I'll, I'll okay. cue it up. I yeah. gotta say that, you know, it, it's a good spot. I thought so. I, I, the director did a great job. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, here, um, and you can hire this gal to come to your um, business and teach. Oh, I gotta see this laughter yoga. Well, studies show a majority of Americans are more stressed out than ever, with Hawaii ranked eighth in the country for work-related stress. Now employers are oh. finding creative ways to help. Our Annalisa Burgos has more from Shriners Children's Hospital. Shriners? <laughs> they say laughter is the best medicine and a unique... Evidently, they would uh, introduce edibles. <laughs> ...form of yoga is taking a dose of that and helping these workers deal with stress and anxiety. <laughs> Mental illness is no laughing matter, but at this wellness illness. workshop, Shriners employees are laughing their way to better mental health. Life coach Jenna Pasquale teaches laughter yoga to companies like Google and Salesforce, walking workers through a series of breathing exercises and movements that may look silly, but are designed to reduce stress. <laughs> it helps activate our organs and it stimulates our blood flow and oxygen even more. Like a After some initial form. awkwardness, we throw out our inhibitions and laugh through imaginary <laughs> scenarios, from flying through the air to playing carnival games. Not everyone was amused, but most <laughs> participants said the session left. You notice it's all women? Yeah. All the guys went, <clears throat> we'll be watching a game. <laughs> them sweaty and in stitches, the good kind. It's nice to take this time for mental health in the middle of the work day. Um, we all need it. This is the first time I've ever heard of laughing yoga, and it was a great way to incorporate a little bit of mindfulness and just relaxation <laughs> throughout the day. And one way for employers to keep staff happy. The American Institute of Stress reports 94% of workers feel stress on the job. 63% are thinking of quitting. 63%? That means what? There's 30% who have given up. <laughs> Workplaces are oh, sorry. <laughs> so stressful these days that incorporating practical 
practices and exercises like laughing yoga is something everybody can do and it's such a huge investment return of investment there's studies that show that our bodies can't tell the difference between oh, there's one guy laughter and where real laughter. he was on the left and if tall we just dude. laugh for 10 to 15 minutes a day in a sustained amount of time we can reap all these health benefits you know i don't want people to think that laughter yoga is just a practice to mask their feelings but we also have tools like laughter that can help balance all of that. So when it comes to fighting workplace stress, employees can have the last laugh. Annalisa Burgos, Hawaii News Now. Wow. 15 minutes of laughter a day. Hmm. Wonder where you could get that. Gee, I'm wondering in my mind where you could get <laughs> <laughs> or maybe, I don't know, I'm just saying, maybe. <laughs> or what? you can tune in every weekday right here. Right here. The We're... Daily Pigeon Podcast. But, but we only provide 14 minutes. Oh, that's my laughter. fault. I showed up late. <laughs> <laughs> One minute late. We could have made it. Oh, my goodness. I apologize. Hey, uh, hey, bro, what he goes, baby, if you, your true self, going to be funny, Garen's, well, yeah, I hope so. I'd like to see. <laughs> but, you know, one of the interesting things that was said in that little um, item there was that um, whether you um, artificially produce laughter mm -hmm. or really laugh, it has the same effect on your body. Because she's going, okay, now we're just going to go, ha, 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 ha. You know what I mean? Hey, she would be a good opening act. Oh. And just to tell people, hey, you know what? Mm. Right? She goes, she's, you know, my course is like 50 bucks each. But the tickets for here is only 28. So you're going to make money. Or. Or. I'll do that at our show. Oh, there you go. Just I'll warm up the crowd. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here, just watch the Daily Pigeon podcast. But you know what? It, it, it's funny, and we've mentioned this before. You know, um, it, it's not too often that, that you can laugh, right? And But people get, you, know, you know what I like about you guys' show? I can, I can act silly, yeah. you know, because you get to that adult stage, and sometimes, ah, I don't like act silly, yeah. not funny. But yeah. now you can you know, type you know, funny stuff or whatever. It's, it's when you get all the responsibilities of being an adult and be, or oh. being a parent or being, you know, working. Or being cool. Yeah, being cool. So. Yeah. You Run know. the comp. Stop paying for laughing yoga and just pay the people more money. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Everybody goes, oh, how much is this class? Yeah. <laughs> so what? Uh, so yeah. this class is $50 per person that the company's going to pay for. You know what? I'll just give you guys all fifty dollars each. <laughs> but, you, but you know what? You, you look at you look at um, Japanese companies. Mm. A lot of times, especially in manufacturing, everybody starts the day with a stretch. Warm up, yeah. There's something there's something to be said about you know congealing people all doing the same thing. Mm. You know, I just couldn't do that because then I start the work day all sweaty. <laughs> it's like, then the rest of the day, I'm like, Japanese don't sweat. Yeah. That's a Samoan <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going to be like, is that me? <laughs> like, oh, oh look at that. We should have begun our uh, our descent. In, oh, we just have begun our descent into Boston. Should land in about 18 minutes. Wow, they have Wi-Fi on the plane. Pretty good. Usually over land, they do. So when you fly from here to the mainland, oh. sometimes they don't. Some planes don't. Oh, over the water they don't. Yeah, but, uh, you're right. Over the continent, they, yeah, it's they, easier. It's easier for yeah. them. Yeah. Okay. Watching Andy and Jim's show is the medicine to laugh and have fun. Oh, thank you. I will never. Yeah. And you take your medicine uh, once every day, every weekday, <laughs> 3 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. Yeah, because Mahalo. we love you. We love you. Yeah. Why? Because we love you. Yeah. M I C. K See you real soon. K E Y. Why? Because we love you. <laughs> You're and too young to know that. Huh? No, I, that was around when. Yeah. Well, I guess it was towards the tail end of the Mickey yeah. Mouse Club was still going on when I was. I'm oh, 75. I, I was born. So. Wow. Okay. And Mighty Mouse and Ooh. all them. 
Last time I flew, no Wi-Fi. Yeah, no, no jet engines either, huh, bro? You know? <laughs> you got to get out of the house more, Michael. You just have to start on the mountain and glide your way to the next town. <laughs> M-O-U-S-E. Mickey oh, yeah. Mouse. Right. And I was, Mickey you know, Mouse. All, everybody my age was crushing big time on oh, a net full, full of jello. Yeah. Full of jello. <laughs> <laughs> Remember who I love? God, remember? Yeah. A kind full of jello. I didn't know about her until... I saw Grease, the movie. They made wow. references to yeah. her a lot of times. Chubby like, and Annette. Who is that? Remember chubby? And he wasn't even that chubby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Annette, yeah. That was, that's the Annette full of jello. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes when I eat jello, I, I like to wash it down with Hawaii volcanic water. Hawaii volcanic water. And look, yeah. my cap is off because <clears throat> I was filling my cup. Yeah. And, uh, you can get this at hawaiivolcanic.com. This is naturally alkaline water from our premium artesian wells. Uh, be pono, do what's right, recycle. He just figured out he can read all that stuff off the label. <laughs> That's cool. How's it, Bob? Uh, Costales. Costales. How do you say that? Costales? Costales. Oh, that's See. way better. That's yeah. way better. Why? Why not? M O U C? C? Why? Oh, why, bro? Why? <laughs> oh, he did that with local boys. No can. He can't Gonna finish why? the song. Always going to end <laughs> in scrap. <laughs> why? why? M-O-U, oh, false crack. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Mongoose Club. <laughs> Us guys, we eat mice. Yeah. Hey, brother Mo. <laughs> How are you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> and oh, this is one of our uh, Mongoose tears. Uh, <laughs> Annette Kekueva. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ooh, Annette Kekueva. Oh, me. <laughs> Full of hapia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's how you end Aloha Friday. Oh, that's it right there. We just did yoga right now. The mongoose club. <laughs> and then instead of ears, like one one kind of cock like huh? What? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, uh, Miles, uh, land safely. There we go. Gotta go, gang. Okay, man. Yeah, and then uh, you pick up your luggage at uh, C12. That's right. <laughs> Uh, we just like to remind everybody to put their seat backs in the full upright and uncomfortable position. Put your your trays in the um, locked position and turn your cell phones off, especially you, Miles, because I know you was cheating to this whole flight. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks again, gang, for joining us. And hopefully, and by the way, we'll be on Facebook after the, um, uh, what is it, May 3rd. 30th when's the last day we get out of jail yeah when we get out of jail either on the 30th or the day after the 30th yeah okay kind of. yeah. <laughs> there we go all right gang mahalo for joining us and please if can subscribe to on especially on the youtube side we're getting very close to 30,000 uh, subscribers uh thanks to all the people who donated uh, whether it be biddies or super chats thanks uh, special thanks to um <clears throat> ass choke on spit right in the middle i was doing such broadcast quality right there <clears throat> um our moderation is nani aloha also our associate producer c honda nice to have you here always um aware and devon in her crinkly hat thank you so much on behalf of myself my name is andy bumatai and i'm james money and that's kinako on the floor Mahalo for being here. I'm going to poke the button. <laughs>